The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Let's take a quick look here at the German DAX and also the FTSE. You can see the FTSE is uh, far much weaker than the German DAX, as to be expected, of course, because they're through the Brexit, uh, wicker bubble, whatever they're doing over there. Sort of like an ongoing four-year election, I guess. But um, I don't know what's going to happen there. But if it doesn't go through the British pound, it's going to get whacked pretty hard, I would think. But uh, the jury's still out on that one. Uh, the one thing that I do really need to cover, we looked at the DAX, and that you can see the fact that this German DAX looks like it's ready to uh, break out, much like we are in the stock market here in the United States and other markets around the world. All-time record highs for some of these uh, emerging market things that have been going on uh, big big moves of course in the nikkei hang seng has moved well so there's no there's no sign of a major top i'm here we're, we're starting to see some little things popping up but but frankly you know it it's not it's not really clear that a major top here is there but uh, you know we really don't know there's a few things that are he that are coming up that that are important let's just take a quick look at those here this morning by the way we will have tim boston on wednesday and i hope uh, later on in the week we're going to have stan harley and also arch crawford uh, as our guest but you'll notice here on this margin debt uh, look how high we were from 2000 folks i mean my goodness uh, and then 2007 boy this is a this is a major deal up here but you know, you can't really time any particular high in the market, you know, based on margin debt. So what I do is I go down to the ti smaller time frames and look at those to see, you know, what the market's doing. And that that's to, it's in order to control risk because there's really no no clear pattern up here uh, that I can see. There's a, Yeah, there's some double tops and stuff like that, but nothing that jumps out at you like a rattlesnake and snaps at you because that, that doesn't uh, – I don't see any of that right now. That That's absolutely for sure. Now, the other one that looks uh, uh, real interesting here is the fear and greed index. If you look at the fear and greed index, we're at uh, 92 in the fear and greed index. So we, here we have a double sort of margin debt and fear and greed. You know, all those in themselves would be enough to really make a look at it. Hey, I'm not Hey, I, hey! <laughs> someone's already I, – I am not trying to pick a top in the uh, – in the market for the stocks, okay? I, I'm looking at it, but I'm not picking it yet, okay? Yes, I'll talk about the Winklevoss twins in just a minute, Jimmy, so hang in there just a little bit. What I'm looking at, folks, is a, is try to find patterns where you don't have to risk very much. Focus on what you don't have to risk or what you have to risk. That's all you really have to do. That's the real key, you know, to look at. Now, there's another one here that looks really – I got all these from my good friend Rich Anderson. As you know, he sends us all kinds of stuff. But here is the S&P 500 the number of stocks that are above the 200-day moving average, folks, we've never had one like this before. I mean, we're higher than, uh, you know, than ever, which it should be because the market's been going straight up. And you ask yourself, how can it go straight up with all the stuff that's going on in the world? The market doesn't care, folks. It discounts that stuff. So don't be, uh, don't be afraid of that. So let's get to something that all of you are interested in. We need to talk to our good friend, Mr. Z. If he's there, maybe he'll call in because we're over this big uh, full moon that we have here. And uh, it's also known as a frost moon uh, in Chinese literature. But here's where we, it's actually today. But let's get this chart up so you can see what Mr. Z sent us. This is very similar to the chart that the, that we have for our 24/7 subscribers and also the one in the newsletter these are these are the big abcd patterns that are looking that we're seeing where we are right now uh, he was looking for a price of uh, 1776 
and we got down to, uh, I believe the low was 1772. We hit 1768. Uh, he was looking for 1766. It's hit it twice, folks, so that's within a dollar of the exact price Mr. Z was looking at. Now, that's a real quandary for me because here I am over a full moon, and I'm also looking at a potential for a uh, – you know, a, lo a lower low coming in down there with the big ABCD and the 618 at 1727. That's 50 bucks from where we are. Well, yeah, not quite 50 bucks anymore. It's about 30 bucks from where we are right now. So I have to give it. I have to give it that little extra time. I've lowered the stop on all three positions so that if we get knocked out, we lock in a little over 240 dollars an hour since we put those things on in September. And so we're going to see if uh, this is going to uh, get to our price objective or not. I do believe we have to wait for it because it's worth waiting on. It's just uh, – it's really clear, in my opinion. But again, my my opinion doesn't mean a whole lot sometimes. So, let's just uh, let's just take a look at it. You'll see uh, what I'm looking at. Just give me one second here. It only takes a uh, at least I hope it's a quick second to do it. Where'd it happen to it? Oh, I lost the darn chart already. Shut the front door. Anyway, that's my reasoning behind it. So uh, I'm sticking with it. I think it's got another chance to go to the downside, and we'll be able to see if it uh, makes it uh, makes it or not. The other thing that we're looking at, folks, is that U.S. dollar index is making a new low uh, at this time, and that's not to be unexpected because we felt that once it went below that 92.30, it was probably going to go down and make a new low. It has made a new low by a few pips, but we're seeing you know pretty big divergence between the euro and some of these others. So. I don't know if this is going to collapse from this level. I know if we go below uh, the 91, 91, 20 level, that's going to be really negative because that's going to absolutely smash that uh, long-term pattern that we've been watching in the in the U.S. dollar index, which I, you know, that that's a big deal because you know those are how how we pay our bills uh, in the international front. Let's get this up here so you'll be able to see this because we have now uh, – we're trading right now this morning at – oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second here. I hit the wrong button. Doggone it. Slow down here. Oh, hit the wrong button again. I don't know what button. And I hit, I think I hit the wrong button again. This is wrong button day, I guess. Okay. Um, I don't know which of these things it hit. Let me double check. Did I hit the wrong one? I don't know what it hit. Shut the front door. Uh, did I get the wrong button? No, I hit the right button. By golly, there it is. There you can see we're getting ready to knock that out. Now, it's not unusual for those to get get to, you know knocked out and then a, tra a trap occurs. And I think that's a possible trap. And the reason why is we're not seeing the corresponding increase in the euro. The euro should be above the way above the 120 level, and it's not. It's only at 119 and change. It's a lot, about 50 pips lower than where it should be. So that's why I'm looking at it as a potential that this could be a, a trap. All I'm waiting to do is to see in my first choice for a short would be the British pound. My second choice would be the euro. My third choice, of course, would be the yen. But those are the ones that we're watching here uh, here this morning. Now, those of you, if you did sell that British pound on that 1.618 expansion up there at that 134 level, you know, put your stop at break even and uh, let it rip and, you know, see what happens. Uh, I want to go back. Uh, we've got to take a break here because uh, we've got to pay a few bills. But when I get back, I want to talk just a tiny bit more uh, about the gold gold market because uh, this is a big bottom folks this is the this is what you wait for if you miss that whole thing this is the this the train is there in the station they're punching tickets to to get on and we want to get you on a first class ticket if we can now if that's not corny nothing is 877-927-6648 If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted a chart showing the gold market and also the fact that it's very oversold, much like it's been since 2018. I base everything that I look at, folks, on ABCD. You know, when I uh, did this book with John Jameson, The Floor Trader's Handbook, these are the things that I live by. I mean, these these patterns, they flat out work. I mean, after looking at 10,000 you know, samples, it proves that, yes, they do have predictability, but they do control your risk better than anything else. And so that's what I look at. So this ABCD pattern that we're seeing here is right out of Gartley's book. He said, buy the first clear ABCD pattern that you see in a bull market and sell the first ABCD pattern you see in a bear market. And this is the very first really strong ABCD, I mean, big one. That we've had since this market bottomed in, De in December the 15th and December the 30th of 19, gee whiz, Larry, 2015. So that was December 2015. You're looking at five years ago, and this is the biggest ABCD that we've had here. We're down, we're down $300 pretty much from the uh, from the high. We are over. We're over $300 down from the high, and uh, not only that, but everybody's turning bearish on it. Okay, that's another reason, and so. Uh, I just I was just thinking here to myself during the break here I looked at Mr. Z's chart I looked at the fact that we're at a full moon and we're only 40 handles away from the price the price where I want to go long so basically uh, okay hold on it says we have repeatedly advised doing the best ones to capture 
the meat of that's why he said you're not ringing the cash registers now in short you know uh, mr z just posted here that i re revised uh, trying to capture the meat of the move and mr z i'm really thinking about covering this thing right after the show i really am the reason why is i'm 40 dollars away from the target in the december gold okay it's trading at uh, 1767 that's down 330 dollars from the high we're in it for about uh, 240. We got three positions on. I haven't had three positions on uh, in well in quite a while. Ever since uh, you know the uh, bit uh, not Bitcoin but the Brexit. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is to cover that puppy today for two reasons. One, I like that chart that you put up. It's not quite at the ABCD. Uh, the second reason is is that full moon. Uh, it's a big full moon, and I'm I'm just going to do it. I am going to cover the short position right after the show. If I give up the last. 40 bucks i'm gonna look i am not going long yet i'm not going to long yet because one thing would really upset me is to buy it now and have to set with a you know i'm not going to set with a 40 dollar hickey that's for sure but that's what i'm going to be doing now that's my thought process i hope that helps i don't know if it means very much but that's what i like uh that's what i have to do because i you stop and think i'm trying to get the last forty dollars out of something that's been awfully good and we've been that's you're talking about september october november uh, 10 weeks and so I think it's time to uh, be able to do this. One of the things that I'm going to be doing when I do the full day uh, session, that'll be my last one for a very long time. Uh, I'm going to do a full day thing. Uh, try to come into it if you can, because we're going to be there to make money, folks. We will make money on the 9th of December. I'm going to be using my AI program. I'm going to show you how to use some of the aspects of it to using your old trading as far as watching the key times of the day and stuff like that. But we will be making money during that time. Usually we do four or five trades during that day, and we'll have a pretty good idea of uh, you know how we do this. But I, I think you'll enjoy it. In fact, I know you'll enjoy it. I'm going to have a few extra bonuses for people that uh, people that come into it. But uh, I think you'll have a lot. Of fun. I enjoy them very much. This is what I really enjoy doing most of all is doing this. In fact, I'm going to be doing one uh, today over in uh, Mumbai. So it's going to be interesting to uh, talk to those folks over there because I uh, haven't had any chance to uh, chat with. Indian traders for a, a very long time will be doing foreign exchange uh, markets here today. Okay, now what we're watching here is uh, I am going to cover the short gold, folks. I, in fact, I just did. I have to send out the video or the, the, the alert on it for everybody, but I'm covering the December gold here at 1768. It just got out, so I'm going to be watching that. Uh, be watching for a buy, folks. Trust me, I really like this from the buy point of view, but I have to give it a little bit more uh, thing. You know, how many times have we seen it not reach our you know exact objectives on something? All all right, let's get back to something that, that is more important than the gold right now, and that's what's happening in the stock market. And this is, a, I think it's important here, and we'll take a look at it. This is what was going on last night in the S&P. These are the kind of things that I'm going to be covering in the uh, full day session. You'll notice here, this is a 15-minute chart. The mar market opened, went up about 20 handles. In fact, it went up exactly 20 handles. Broke really hard. It went from 36.52 down to 36.23. Rallied up to the exact 382 retracement in ABCD format. You can see it right there. Perfect ABCD format. And then it started to head down. So if we believe that these patterns actually work, and do we believe that these patterns actually work, we want to see what actually happened next. So the next thing that you wanted to do was to see if the market was going to hold on. Let me get this up here to see what the next pattern would be. So we get this up. And I did this because I thought that this would probably be happening. I just wanted to show you how powerful these numbers work once they once they start to line up. I mean, they, they really give you a tremendous advantage. You know, it's not it's not rocket science. It, it's just a matter of probability. And look look what the look what the actual pattern ended up last night, folks. Here you'll see exactly to the exact price. There's your ABCD. Your 1.618 was down there at uh, 3305. The low was 3603. And it rallied all the way up to the 61% retracement at 3630 and change. 
So right now, this is in a short-term downtrend. Now, that has nothing to do with the big picture. That's just a shorter-term trading you know, aspect of it. And that's what you're doing is when you're, when you're swing trading or day trading, whatever you want to call it, you're trying to find opportunities that fit your risk structure that gives you. And we're getting volatility like we haven't seen in a long, long time. I mean, you got to go back to the days of 2000. I mean, even in 2007, we weren't getting moves like this. I mean, it was incredible. I mean, you know, these are things that you have to pay very, very close attention to, I believe, in order to, uh, you know, to make the things work that you do. And I wanted to, uh, by the way, right now, as long as we don't get above 3640 in the S&P today, it has a negative bias to the downside. And believe me, we went up five, six days in a row. So just by statistical purposes, you'll be able to see, see that, you know, we have a situation where we're going to be have a down day once in a while. I don't know how if it's going to happen or not. But, you know, we've got the margin debt. We've got the, the fact that fear and greed is high. Oh, one other one. Look at this, folks. You talk about bubbles, and we'll talk about the Winkle, Winklebrost twins when we get back from the break because I do have some information about Bitcoin. But look, you want to talk about bubbles? Let's go back to uh, 1890 to 1903, the bicycle bubble. Even bicycles were in a bubble. They went from 350 down to, you know, 75 bucks. So, you know, <laughs> there are bubbles everywhere. Now, we know that the Bitcoin is not a bubble because we're back to the old highs. We're at a double top right now. In fact, while the Winklefrost twins were on CNBC, the, the Bitcoin rallied $500 a share. Well, $500 a share, 19000 is not a lot. Yes, I remember the bowling alley bubbles, David. I certainly do. 1958, every Everybody was going to have a lane in their in their uh, basement. <laughs> I can remember that. Quite a Brunswick. Brunswick was the bowling. Uh, actually, my father was. A Eight seven. Larry Pesavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. Before we start talking about what I want to talk about, and that's Bitcoin for just a minute, uh, you'll see here the euro is back to their old highs we made back in August. Now, what I would be expecting is to get above that by just a little bit. That would be about 120.20, and then it not go much higher than that. But there's a possibility this is a big breakout in the euro. I, you know, And believe me, look, we've went sideways here since August, so this is a lot of – and no pullback. So this is a really, uh, really a big deal. And the dollar index, if it gets below that 91 level, folks, there is something wrong with the U.S. dollar. And, uh, you know, what that would be is anybody's guess. So let's move on to talk just a little bit about the Winklevoss brothers and also the uh, Bitcoin. Uh, the reason why I bring this up because these things are starting to move. We need to pay attention to them. Uh, here is the price of Bitcoin. We went up to uh, 19600 We backed off. We missed the 382 retracement by $500 a share. That was going to come in around 15500 We missed it just about by 500 bucks and it came back to the old high. And now we're uh, getting ready to pop out above that uh, 19600 again. It, it rallied about $500 a share share while they were both on uh, the TV. But remember, they've been really pumping this thing uh, since uh, 2013. So they've made uh, billions of dollars, which uh, money that they would have probably made at Facebook, but that was not giving them the opportunity. So let's move on to the next one we want to talk about. And this was something that we had in the newsletter uh, was about three and a half weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it was just about three, about almost a month ago, we talked about uh, John uh, Jameson brought this to my attention and put it in the newsletter. This is a company called Planetar. And basically uh, what it is, it's an artificial intelligence program, government based pretty much all their businesses through the government. And basically their motto is protecting the protectors. It's all about artificial intelligence. And believe it or not, the CEO of the company was on uh, one of the TV programs and they asked him what he does. And he said, well, we make recommendations, you know, about certain things based on patterns that we see in the market and things like that. And and they asked him, you know, what was one of the most uh, I forget what it was, one of the most uh, intriguing things. He said, well, sometimes we recommend people should be killed. He actually said that on the TV. And anyway, it's at least uh, that's what they're saying. So we'll see how that works out. Anyway, you'll notice that John said that uh, he, he said he thought it was a really good buy at $9.20. And uh, we uh, want to take a look at Planetar because, I believe me, I'm not in it at all. I don't, I don't do any stocks at all. I, I feel silly for not doing this one. But if you'll take a look at this, look what Planetar has done. This past week, uh, we, had a, we had a move from 17 all the way up to 33, folks. That's from a base of uh, around $9. I show you that's where the pullback was there at 960 and we went all the way up. We went four times its value in two weeks. So that's the kind of things you're seeing some of these moves. So we'll see, you know, how some of these things are going to uh, – uh, go, go, going hand in hand. Okay, someone's asked a question. How could I change my mind in the gold market after I started to say I was going to wait for the last $40? I'll tell you why. Two reasons. A, I respect Mr. Z's opinion very much. B, I respect the full moon very, very much. And C, I don't want to give up any more than I've already given up. You know what I mean? I just I don't I don't want to I don't care if this last 30 or 40 dollars goes to somebody else. This is enough. I'm. That's. Uh, I think this is what I. Hey, when you're nervous, you, you know, Amos Hostetter had a little plastic plaque on his Reuters machine when I first met him back in 1973. He died in 75. The little plaque says, uh, "Have have has your uh, position reached its objective? Yes or no? 
It says, has anything changed during that time that would change your mind, yes or no? If you could answer yes to either one of those questions, you should get out of your position. And my answer to that question is yes. My opinion has changed because of those three things I just mentioned. I don't want to – I'm trying to squeeze out another $30 out of a huge move. That doesn't seem very feasible, and I'm nervous about it. Two, second thing is, is that Mr. Z's posted this beautiful chart that shows the ABCDs forming. We're within a heartbeat of those. We're right over a full moon, and we know that gold does pretty well over lunar cycles. So that's my reasoning. If we go down to 70, 17, 27, you'll be able to say, aha, I told you so. But I get used to that, so that's not a problem. So I will be covering that short gold today. And uh, we'll see uh, what happens. So <laughs> you're right, Bobby. Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Let's get moving on to the next one we want to cover here this morning. And that is the crude oil. Here's another one that's going to be real interesting here, folks. Let's get this up here. And believe me, we've got the boys uh, from the uh, Saudi Arabia over there in the midst of negotiating. But here's where we are. Let's just get this up and take a look at it. Now, this is the January crude oil chart. This number that you're looking up there, folks, at 46.25, 46.30, that's a 61% retracement on the weekly chart. You can see the structure, the ABCD down to 35.50, and then all the way up, you can see the ABCD patterns that extended right up to where you are right now. This means that you're probably getting ready for a correction in crude oil. Now, you've got a really double-edged sword here, not like in the gold market, because you've got the folks over there in uh, the Middle East are making some type of arrangement on how we're going to, uh, you know, put out the oil in order to keep prices, uh, you know, okay. Well, I've seen them play these games before, so and they do they do follow the stops pretty well. So if you sell it, you don't have to risk much above, uh, you know, forty six eighty. So your risk is going to be relatively small at that point, I would think. But that is a completed pattern. You've got uh, A, B, C, D right at a uh, 1.27 expansion, which also happens to be the 61% retracement on the weekly. So we know that 46.25 should be a pretty substantial resistance for the the, uh, the crude oil. Now, see, that's all based on, it's based on risk assessment. It's not based on how much you're going to make on that, because you don't know what's going to happen from that time. But if they don't make some type of an arrangement over there to share you know the uh, the oil distribution then this market will sell off quite a bit much like what will happen if brexit if they don't get brexit uh, finally fixed up then that'll be it but i believe that's already a done deal they just haven't told us that much like we do here in the things that we do here in the united states as we go through uh, some of these other things so let's keep a uh, let's keep an eye on that as we watch some of these things unfold folks when i try to give you this stuff I, i'm giving you the best uh, i can see it i don't pull any punches you know i I'm, I'm not uh uh you know, I'm not a rocket scientist or anything, you know. Yes, my IQ is 180, but to get to that 180, I had to take the test four times. So you got to remember that. It's not the height of your IQ. It's how many times you had to take the test to get there. Very, very important. All right, let's move on to one other one that is uh, very important here. I covered the gold, the planetar. Oh, the silver. The silver is still has a possibility of lower lows, but let me show you something else that we're, we're dealing with here in silver right now that is could be very, very important. We'll get this up here, and we'll be seeing it here uh, where we are. Okay, this is silver over the past several months. Uh, we have not taken out that low, at least as of this morning. I don't think we've taken out the low at 2180 as of yet. Someone correct me if uh, the December silver has gone below uh, 2180. I don't think that it has, but even if it has, that just tells us that that's just touching those old stops. Because if we don't get below that, that would be another reason why I would be covering the gold into this lunar cycle. We'll be right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. 
The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large-cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks. And I wanted to bring to your attention one market that we've been watching very, very closely. Hold on a second here if I can get this up here. And that is the uh, natural gas. Give me one second here. Uh, we had an interesting situation here in natural gas last night. You notice that on Friday we closed right near the low uh, of the move and of that five-day rally, big, big reversal. And then last night uh, we opened just a few pips b below that Friday low, and the market has rallied uh, well over 18, 18 handles in natural gas. Yes, that low happened to be a 382 retracement, folks. So I think it's very important that, uh, you know, you got to remember this could be really, really bullish because, you know, we did make the perfect ABCD down there at 252. Then we rallied up to 296. Then we backed off to two, uh, 279, uh, two, no, excuse me, 280. And now we're trading at uh, 298 again. So this is acting, uh, you know, pretty bullish. Now, that has nothing to do with crude oil, folks. Uh, it, you know, there are different products for different services and stuff. So you've got to you got to keep in mind that that's one of the things that you want to, to uh, remind yourself of that when you're watching these things. The markets that I'm following the closest today, I have stopped following the gold because I've decided I've uh, actually uh, exited the gold, the December gold contract for the folks. I haven't sent it out to them yet, but it'll be going out here in about 16 minutes. And uh, then the next one I'll be focusing on is the euro, because I think that this dollar index still has a chance uh, to hold the uh, 91 uh, 20 level. Uh, the risk here is going to be small. I want to see the euro take out the – we're trading at 120 in the euro. So I'd like to see it take out about 120.20 without much uh, action up there. And that would give me an idea of market feedback that would tell me, ah, there are not any stops up there. So I'm a little bit protected on the amount of stops that I have to use. I'm not trying to catch a falling knife. 
or anything like that. You know, you don't want to get in a really, really running market because those are the ones that can give you the, the most heartache and you don't want to have that. That's a heartache is something you don't need in this business. You might need it in your love life, but you don't need it when you're trading. You want to keep your risks as close to the vest as you uh, as you possibly can. So I think that's an important distinction to make. Let's take a quick look here at what we're doing here in the E-mini this morning so we can give an idea how these numbers work. And uh, we'll just get this up here. What I'll do is I'll pull, I'll bring up the uh, – hold on just a second. I've got to got to change this darn thing just a minute here. Hold on just a second here. I've got to get the chart up. Hold on just a second. I'm going to do two charts for you. I'm going to give you the uh, – what the AI is looking at, let's just quickly look at the 15-minute here in the S&P, and you'll you'll see uh, what we're watching here. Let's get this out of the way. Hold on. Holy moly, guacamole. Okay, here is uh, what we're looking at. There's the Here's the ABCD pattern that I just talked about. We went right up to the 61% retracement up there at uh, 36.35, spot on. Uh, one, one, one point higher. That was an ABCD structure, as you can see here. I uh, hope you can see it anyway, because if you don't, I'll have to draw it in, and I don't want to do that if I don't have to, but I might as well. There it is. Let's get it up here, and we'll take a look at it, and we'll see what the next uh, move is going to make. We've now broken down. We've equaled. We've, we've come down more than the first ABCD pattern, folks. You see that one stopped at 36.12? We've already exceeded that. That's a, that's a negative sign. That tells you you're most probably getting ready to go lower. We're at a key level right now at 36.20. If we that's the 61 percent retracement off point C. And if we break that, you know, then we're going to be looking at it, because if you looked at this on a larger basis. Now, remember, we've been going up since Hector was a pup and that dog's nine, nine years, nine years old almost already. But look at look what would happen here if we have end up having a bad down day, which which now would be down about 350. We could easily and still be in a major bull market. We could still get the market to come all the way down to the 3586 that's 50 handles from where we're trading right now well how do 50 handles uh turn from where we are right now well the first thing is if we get below 3618 okay that's going to tell us that we're most probably getting ready to hand, hand down there but we're at major support right now that's major support right here at this 3620 and if we get below 3618 then that'll tell us uh oh well something's wrong and we're going to start getting it heading down my my guess is and this is strictly a guess sophisticated wild one as i might add is we're going to be heading lower now my premise will be wrong if we get above 3632 well that's 12 handles so we're in a ballpark of where we are right now that's how these numbers line up they're probability related <clears throat> they are not rich h etched in stone in any uh stretch of the imagination but that's what uh, i look at when i'm watching these things it's about how much risk you have to take to see if you're going to be right. It's not how much money you can make if you're right. It's how much money you have to risk to determine if you're going to be right. And that's the whole key of what we're looking at in some of these things. One second here, folks. Okay. One of the questions that I received over the weekend was from two different people, same question, and that is, why didn't the astrology work on the election? <laughs> folks, <laughs> Never said that stuff was 100%. You know, there's nothing 100% in life, folks, and that's the main thing to keep in mind. Hold on. Someone's asking a question here. Let's get up here. Uh, oh, Mr. Z is telling us that the March soybeans have topped. It might have topped. I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you, my friend. And the reason why is I've, I've looked at wheat. I've looked at corn. Uh, I've been watching them for two weeks, actually, trying to get a top, but I haven't seen anything really significant. But we're very, very close, mainly because the meal has uh, started to to uh, slip a little bit. But I have not done anything on that. My main focus today is to take care of this gold position and then watch the euro for a potential short, because I do want to get short the euro today, uh, because I don't believe that dollar index is uh, going to fall out of bed. Let's take a, a look at that here, because we're we're live, and uh, we'll be able to watch it very close. Live, or is it Memorex? I, you folks don't even remember Memorex. That was uh, too uh, long ago. When I bought my first house with Eli Lilly, I had Memorex convertible bond. Oh, the uh, dollar index got down to 51. Let's see where we are here right now. Get the daily up here. 
There we go. We're having a little bit of a move. We're still ta we've taken out the low by uh, oh not by very much by about 20 pips. Yeah, yeah, not even 20 pips. But here's where we stand here. Uh, and believe me, I'm just looking at these patterns now that they've got a, you know A B C D's down in this area. So uh, I'm looking for a potential bottom in here, double bottom based on the euro and this and the pound. Of course, uh, I like the pound short. You know better than uh, better than any of the others, but those are the ones that I'm. Uh, that's the ones that I'm focusing on here, here this morning. Getting back to the astrology, you know these guys have been incredibly accurate. Come on, man, you you talk about Bill Meridian, Tim Boss, Arch Crawford, Norm Winsky. I mean, Norm's got given us some fabulous, uh, you know, astro trades in here, but they don't all work. And, you know, the thing about the election was, and they both said, you know, this is going to be a lot of, it's going to be tumultuous, and it certainly has done that. So what we want to do is to keep in mind that um, this is only probability-based. Everything that we do, folks, you know, you know, you, you're going to pick up a blind acorn once in a while if you're, uh, if you're out there looking, but you've got to focus on how much you're risking, not how much you can make. It's how much you can risk. That's the, that's the secret. You must, the bet, like Tom, Tom says in his uh, paper, the best loser wins. That's exactly right. Focus on the losers. The profits will take care of themselves. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. in the day, I joined the Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've been chatting with Mr. Z here in the room at TFNN, and he was talking about a potential high in, in the beans. I posted the January bean chart, and then right after that, I posted the uh, wheat chart. And you'll notice the wheat is a much weaker chart. We've already completed the Gartley up there like we did last week on the 23rd up there at that 625 level. And now we're we're trading right now at around 590 this morning. That sets, a, a sets up an ABCD here down about 540 uh, uh, excuse me, 550 uh, on this if it's correct. Now it's got to get below, you know, 580 before it gets there. But that's just the pattern that we're looking at. What I'm waiting for in the beans is to see the market break a little bit and then test to see how it retraces to the high, just like we've done here in the wheat. And that gives me more information that tells me buyers are selling, are coming in at that point. And at that point, that tells me that that 786 level I'm able to enter, whether it's in beans or wheat. And then I don't have to risk much, even to the old highs. I only have to risk about six or seven cents. So I've got a contract that's worth a little over $30,000. I only have to risk $300. Those are good odds, folks. I mean, you're talking 100 to 1, and that makes it really, really acceptable from a risk parameter basis. Whether you're right or wrong, you've got a really good risk-reward parameter in your favor, and that's what, you're, that's what you're trying to do. That's how you strategize to see how much, when you set up your trade, you want to set it up as how much you're going to have to risk to see if I'm right not how much am I going to make and that's where most people you know make the uh, bad decisions uh, on something like that so you know here at TFNN I can't cover everything I try, try to cover a broad stroke of most things that we're watching and sometimes they work sometimes they don't but all the time we're working on the premise of how much we have to risk to see if we're wrong and that's what I'm watching when we're watching these patterns here in the S&P here this morning to see if it's going to do you know in fact what we think it's going to do we've actually held that level of 18 we held it pretty well I think the low was right at 18 uh, actually the low was 19 and a quarter it's, that's what it's saying here yeah the low was 19 and a quarter now we're back to, to 25 now if this is correct the market's not going to get any higher than 1632 so we'll see. We'll catch you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. 877-927-6648.